And for you to tell me that I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. 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 It's Tamika. Tamika, listen. Tamika. 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 Not Tamika. Tamika. We have seen some pretty amazing talent and people in general grace the stage of the Got Talent and X Factor series. But although there have been plenty of great people on the show, there have been some incredibly cringy people as well. Thanks for joining us today on Film Focus. Number 7. The Mime our first clip comes from America's Got Talent when a mime made his way out on stage. The act was incredibly lackluster and definitely left something to be desired. After four no's from the judges, they gave their critiques and everything seemed fine. That is until the mime broke the number one law of miming and started talking. He didn't just start talking either, he started losing it on the judges and insulting every one of them and making rude physical gestures to them and the audience. Things escalated when he began yelling and started heading off the stage toward the judges, prompting them to call for security. Once the mime got to the judges, however, they realized that this was not just some random mime, but someone they all knew well playing a prank on them. They all had a good laugh, and although this seemed like it was going to get pretty intense, it ended on a positive note. Maybe now you'll use the microphone, because I think after four X's you might want to give up mime and start talking to him. I mean, the best part was this gentleman coming out giving a mime a microphone. That was the funniest bit. <laughs> Where do you guys get off telling me how to mime? Well, you know, I guess because we're a point, I'll, I'll speak for the panel. Here, you know how hard it is to not talk? It's you! It's me! It's me! Number 6. Tamika Bush Way back in the original seasons of American Idol, Tamika auditioned for the show. Randy tells her that her audition was not great and that she is not a solo singer, but she does not take this news well at all. She starts mouthing off at the judges, especially Randy, and no matter how many times Simon tries to get her attention to stop, the most he gets out of her is her correcting him on how to say her name properly. And as is tradition with people throwing tantrums, she stormed out in a big huff. I don't think that you're a solo singer at all. I think you're I'm more. I'm sorry? I don't feel that you're a solo singer. I don't feel that you have a solo singer's voice. <laughs> I'm quite sure I sing a whole lot better than you do. Singing, are you? And for you to tell me that I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. 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 It's Tamika. 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 Not Tamika. Tamika. <laughs> Tamika. Tamika. Number five, Ian Bernardo. Ian's clip was cringy right from the get-go. His ego is obvious from the start, and it's incredibly awkward watching him walk up to people on the street and having them walk away avoiding him. From the moment he walks into the judging room, he gives off a bad impression to the judges with his major ego and attitude. Once he starts singing, things just go from bad to worse though. He starts going off on Simon because he must be working in America illegally. Things continue to escalate until he eventually is asked to leave and walked out by security. He makes it very clear talking to Seacrest after that he still knows he's a superstar and that Simon is clearly an idiot. I Joel Sai, do you even have a working visa Ian, to be here? I am here? bored as you. I want to see, as a, you. no, as a taxpaying American in my country, go. I want to see your working visa because I don't think you're legally Ian, allowed to be here. Ian, I'm bored I don't now. Feel Why? Yes, because he's a moron, that's why. And second off, he asked me what I'm doing when I leave here. You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm calling National Geographic to let them know that the dodo bird is not extinct. It's in there. Number four, Cave on Zand. You can tell how over the top this performer is from the moment he steps on stage, just from his outrageous costume to begin with. Although all the other judges gave him the buzzer, Howie allows him to continue thinking he's joking, to find out that he was in fact completely serious. He goes on to compare himself to Madonna and Lady Gaga, and then asks Mel B if she honestly thinks she's a better singer than him. And then when he's called out on that, he insults her saying she's not the greatest, but she is a good singer, at which point he is finally asked to leave the stage. Sorry, but she has a sense of humor. But, but Madonna, Look at Lady Gaga, she has a sense but, of but humor. Kayvon, let me tell you something. 
Lady Gaga is one of probably technically the best singers I've ever heard. Madonna is a fabulous singer. You do have to get given credit. You did come out here, you did put on a show. When it comes to singing, your technique is not even there. Do you, you think can... that you're a better singer than me? Number three, Mary Roach. Mary auditions for American Idol singing I Feel the Earth Move, and her audition greatly left something to be desired. It definitely did not move the judges. When Simon tells her how he feels about her voice, she thinks he's joking to upset her. She's in complete denial through the whole process, and after telling the judges how she hears many voices, they decide it's best to cut things there. When she realizes that this isn't a joke and that they actually think she's terrible, she begins to slowly snap until finally telling the judges what she thinks of them after she's left the studio. All right, Mary. Honestly, one of the worst I've ever heard in my life. The worst? Yeah, honestly. Are you just saying that to get on my nerves or are you totally serious? Because something tells me that I think you're saying it to annoy me. But I, what made you audition for this competition? All that would tell me that they're wrong. But still, the fact that they said that, that doesn't make me want to pursue any kind of singing career, not unless I'm going to be a lead singer in a rock band. Number two, Zoe Alexander. Topping off our list today was an easy decision. Zoe started off her audition great. She was bubbly and happy and the judges loved her attitude. However, they were very confused after she explained she was a pink cover artist wanting to have her own identity as a singer, and then proceeded to sing Pink as her first song. After her second song, they all explained how she's got potential but needs to find her identity first. Everyone could understand what they were saying except for Zoe, clearly. Zoe completely snaps and tells the judges it's their fault for making her sing a Pink song, which they didn't do at all. And then she proceeds to go on a rampage, throwing the mic, screaming and swearing at the judges, storming off and attacking a cameraman and trying to knock over the set and attacking every camera that came in her face. But the vocal was just very, very average. But I think with time, you could be fantastic, but I think you need to go and find yourself and come back to Zoe. Mason Noyes. This singer and dancer started off with a performance that had the crowd on their feet and the judges loving it. His entire performance went well and would have sealed him a spot for the next episode had he kept his mouth shut. Unfortunately for him, his oversized ego could not let him keep his mouth shut, and in one of the most insane scenes I've ever seen on the show, he gets into a major fight with Simon after telling the audience to all pull out their phones and record him because he was upset that he got a shorter time slot on the previous episode than some of the other performers when he thought he was the best there. In a scene you just have to see, he turns the whole audience against him and is ultimately kicked out of the studio. No, you are being this is real. Elite. Don't tell me how long you should have on this show. Say how long I should have on the show. I'm bringing art. Why don't you shut this up? Is, this is about entertainment. Mason, why don't you shut I'm bringing up? bringing entertainment back, bro. Thank you for joining us today. What was your favorite moment from today's video? Make sure to let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming all the time. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.